So the day's finally come. We've been waiting for this day. It feels like for an eternity. It isn't really that long, but it's here. The kitchen's here. The guys are here. They're installing it as we speak. So we haven't seen anything they've done yet. So we're really excited to actually see it going in and see what's going on. Yeah, we haven't been logged in or anything. They've just said, look, just leave us to it. Yeah. We'll crack on and get sorted. So they've just gone for a quick lunch break. So it's halfway through. We thought we'd quickly nip in, show you how the progress is. And so we can really, like we haven't even been in to see it. We just grabbed the camera and we thought we'll, we'll go and have a look with you so we can see how it's getting on. Come on then. Come on then. A bit of a bomb site like. Yeah, it does look like a bomb site. <laughs> so we've gone down the long corridor. We've got our oven here, which is an electric oven yeah. and hob, isn't it? Again, we bought this in the sales last year, anticipating obviously we we're going to need a kitchen and they literally double the price in the shop now. So we've done well getting this, yeah. getting this sorted. The reason we went with electric as well is so obviously we don't have to cart wood up the stairs or gas bottles. There's no mains gas here. So it would either have to be on a, we'd have to get a big tank installed and then it'd be installing that into the here, which would be too much of a chew on or hoying wood upstairs if we had a wood arger. So we've gone with electric just to make life easy for us really. Yeah. When we go into the big kitchen downstairs, when we get one sorted out in the calf, it's quite likely we'll learn. Um, you want an arger? I want a wood burn arger in there. <laughs> a big, big one. So we've got bits of your skating board. Extractor fans, all the little bits to go in the drawers. There's just um, bits everywhere. Yeah. Looks like we've been working. It definitely <laughs> does look like we've been working in here. Having this progress. Yeah. So we have our breakfast part, and again, look how beautifully they've cut that in. Just look in there. Oh my God, it is absolutely perfect it's around seamless. the beam. God, it's naff. Like right the way around, it's just joined up perfectly around yeah. the Yeah, unbelievably. And we were clever, we got rounded worktops so that we don't bang That's our sure hips on them. Yeah, so they've chamfered those off. So, Patrick's come to inspect it. Yeah, he's having a look for the first time in here as well. Um, so I asked him to change it slightly. We did have the bingo in here, in the spice rack here. We swapped it around, because obviously I'm going to be doing my work in here. This is my main worktop, so. This was going to be the bin, which it's at the very end and if you're preparing all your food over there then you have to bring it all the way over to put in the bin here where now you'll just be able to grab it and go straight in the bin so and we got the sink so ash finally got his sink <laughs> can't believe again how well they've just fitted it all and like how well it's been cut around Oh, like these beams aren't easy at all. No, and, and again, in all fairness, this wall isn't straight. As no. much as we tried to do straight walls, there isn't a straight wall in this building. So the way they've cut that seamlessly right the way along the edge, that yeah, it is. I'm, I'm, I am genuinely impressed. The sink, the sink's massive, isn't it? Really, to the be honest. Sink. Yeah. This Ideal for what we need. <laughs> what all the pots that we're gonna have? <laughs> yeah, but we've got the dishwasher too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the dishwasher goes in the middle there. And then we've got the made some custom cupboards to go on the end. Yeah, because of the beams, obviously these don't go all the way back. So they're like half depth. So we're not completely wasting the space. No. So yeah. yeah. It's brilliant. Fun. And then breakfast bars looking amazing. Yeah, well we've got the obviously a little space underneath so we can put stools. We can still sit here. Yeah. But again, I think we've made just, I think it really is the to right honest, choice. It looks, it looks big here, but in the space now, like yeah. I was worried in case this sort of galley part was going to be too tight. Well, we've got plenty of space. I can open my oven. So you can imagine the oven opening yeah. there. And it's good there. because now you're not going to be walking into the beam, like where the edges are here. Yeah, that's how we, that's how we envisaged it. And that's what we asked for from the designers, Xena and Alanson. Yeah. And they've done literally <laughs> I'm blown, I am genuinely blown away so far, it's nowhere near done. To be honest, it, looking at it, to me, it feels twice the size it now does. being in here. Just that being there? Come Brilliant. On there. Right, we'll crack on with sink well. else. Well, leave these to it. Go from there. Come on then. Come on then. So this is it, the reveal. Our amazing kitchen. Now we've had a look and I cannot tell you how impressed I actually am. This is like absolute genuine amazement of the job they've done in one day here. So, but this isn't the final reveal. This is literally the only just finished installing it. Yeah. So we still have a couple of jobs to do. Yeah. So we've still there. got the, the backsplash to go on. We've still got the skirting board to go on. A couple of bit of paint jobs because we'd have to leave stuff basically left 
so that we could see where cables were, pipes were and stuff like that. So we've got a couple of little bits, so we know that they're there, you don't need to point them out. Yeah. Um, and we'll be finishing it all off in this next week. Can't you, wait. Are you excited? Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> it, it's the best money I've ever spent in my life. It is. So, this is the first part. Yep. Now, we've got some amazing drawers. Again, they're just, the quality on them. Look. Yeah. They're just beautiful. Well, we went with a couple of sets of drawers because everyone said to get drawers. Rather than cupboards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've got two big sets of drawers. So we listen to you guys, and again, thank you for that, because we wouldn't have thought of that. I think we'd have gone pretty much all cupboards, wouldn't we? Probably, yeah. Rather than like have a couple of little drawers on top, which is like traditional for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but we have to, there's some attention to detail that we just have to show you here, yeah, guys. Yeah, definitely. Like, this isn't an easy job. No, and cut it, the, cut it around the beams to absolute precision. And yeah. I mean, the beams aren't straight, the beams aren't flat, the walls aren't flat. No. But everything just, they've done it. I, I was watching them shave some of the bits off as they were doing it and the job that they have done, I, I can't tell you how impressed we are with it. It is. It's already good, it's already solid. We felt that just carrying up the stairs. But having it in, in place and, and to feel it and to touch it and to use it. Yeah, it, it is, it's amazing. Yeah, it's unreal. So we've got a couple of sets of cupboards. Yeah, little cupboard. And that one's... A custom cupboard, because again, the beams are in behind it, but they've managed to find a way of doing it and just making it fit and yeah. making it look good. Um, and it does, and it's all usable space as well. Yeah. So we've got plenty of storage up here now as well, which we weren't initially expecting. We thought we were going to lose quite a lot because of how we were going to do it. Yeah. So I have my hob, <laughs> I have my extractor. I've got my oven. you got your oven? Yeah. And again, it's just, we, like I say, we planned the oven. We knew we were going to need it. They managed to get the sizes, so they've just come in and basically fitted it in. Yeah. The extractor, we were unsure of whether it'd be too modern in here, but I think it goes. But this is an internal filter one as well, so we don't have to even keep buying new filters. No. It's literally a case that we open it, throw it in the dishwasher every week, and it's that's it done. Yeah. So again, we weren't expecting that, were we? No, 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 no. So that's Brilliant. We've got... Spice racks. A little spice rack and sauces. Yep. We have a bin. A bin. All Again, built in. All hidden away. What was this? I didn't see this. No, that's just a fish. I didn't plate. know whether it was just a fish. <laughs> I haven't tried it. See, we genuinely, we've not been in here yet enough to be able to no, tell you. True. Some amazing depth drawers. So yep. we can store everything in. Again, listening to you guys, it was definitely the right thing to do. These, I love these now. I think I was unsure of them initially, how they were going to look. Yeah, they are amazing. But they're just beautiful. They've really just finished that, that area off. I think it would have been too much if it was just all blank there now. Yeah, definitely. And with probably. the glass as well, obviously, because the glass is like frosted in the centre and then clear, and it's got like a beveled edge on it. Um, but it's beautiful. Like I said, the handles, the colour, everything goes well together. Yeah. Doesn't and it? And then <laughs> dishwasher. We have a dishwasher. We've never had a dishwasher in 15 years. We've never had a dishwasher. Nope. So we'll be able to just throw all the dishes in after we've cooked for everyone. It's just going to be lovely. And here's the piece de la resistance. <laughs> this I love. And again, just, oh. I think. Yeah, just feeling it and, oh, it's, it's just beautiful. It's we didn't realise the tap was going to be so gold, but it no, goes but with our little dash hound ornament that our amazing friends give us. Yeah, our little uh, it's kitchen, kitchen wall dispenser. Yeah, so it goes with that. Yeah. Um, okay. We thought it was going to be more like brassy, but to be honest, it's still really nice. We've got the little drainer, from nice and forks. You see the, that's the plug, isn't it? Yeah. To make the plug work. Again, just perfect. And again, I'm so happy we went with this. We could have went yeah. with something like that. No, the, I know you said the cheaper one, but yeah. we, we couldn't. No. We couldn't have done that. I think it had been a, too much of a compromise. This has gone absolutely perfect. perfect. And I think when we're looking for tiles, if we go some of that colour, yeah. it'll tie all that in really well. Yeah, I think so. Well, the plan is, obviously, we're going to tile all the way along the back for yeah. a backsplash, probably about three three or four tiles up, aren't we? I'd say three. Three is going to be about right, I think. Yeah, probably be about three. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say that works nice. nicely. Yeah. And again, more bespoke cupboards on the end. Yeah, all built in. Yeah, again, not huge, but the perfect, the usable. 
Well, for us and how much space we're going to need up yeah. here, it's going to be perfect. Absolutely. And then we've got cupboards under the sink as well. Yep. Again, just saying, it's the tall cupboards, so yeah. they're usable. So whenever you've got cupboards and you you look under them, they're always messy and they're always bottles laid over because you can't stand them up. It's a usable cupboard. Yeah. It's a usable space. So again, just absolutely perfect. And the guys, I'm not kidding you, when they came, in the UK, if we'd have had something like this, we know that it had just been left a mess and they'd have walked out when they'd done the job. They didn't, they stayed, they cleaned everything down, they got cleaning sprays out, cleaned everything, hoovered everywhere, and they left it in an absolutely immaculate state for us to walk in. We haven't done anything in here. No, we just literally just came in. They yeah. cleaned, like you've said, obviously cleaned the worktops with disinfectant, everything. Yep. Yeah. So they're even inside all the cupboards, they've um put corking in and everything right the way around the cupboards. It's just again they're just brilliant. Yeah. And again, just the attention to detail in cutting something like this out. Yeah. Like I say, I don't know how well it comes out on the camera, but it, it is it looks amazing. Obviously it just looks like the, the beams stuck at the worktop. Yeah. No. And you may be yeah, thinking, well, you haven't got a fridge and freezer. We do. We do. We do. <laughs> so we have our Lovely fridge. Fridge. Lovely freezer. Lovely freezer. And another useful cupboard. And another little cupboard to put things in. Absolutely ideal. But again, the piece I was most impressed with is how they've got this to look. Yeah, that is like, obviously all of this, it looks like the beam just stops on the worktop here. The, it, the, the, the cutting that they've done in and around that again is- Yeah, it, it's just- Absolutely pristine. Again- you can see like, well, I'm focusing in, like you can see literally every little tiny bit they've cut around the beam. So it looks like the beam literally just stops there. Yeah. Um, which it doesn't, obviously you can come all the way through here <coughs> and there's the other part of it. But the way they've just... Yeah, the way that they've done it. And again, we I don't think we were... You don't have in your head how big this is going to be, but it is so perfect, it's unreal. Yeah, for a breakfast bar it is. Yeah. Obviously it's, it's big, but everything just makes the room feel twice the size yeah, now, doesn't it? It really does, and like I say, I don't know whether, you won't get the like the comprehension size of Terry stays there and you see us down no. the other end. Yeah, like, it's, I can go as far back as I can here. I think for the Americans out there, it's 20 odd foot long. Yeah. Um, it's like, it's 12 foot wide. So again, it, it's not a, we're not in a small space, so to, for them to have laid it out the way they've done, massive thank you to Francois, Dixine Rollinson. And he even, I don't think it's part of the job, but he even came out yesterday to make sure that we were happy with everything and just to make sure everything had gone. He wanted to see it himself because I think he was a bit excited. Yeah. So he nipped himself. in on his way home from work. And it is, it's, it's just, it's unbelievable. Like genuinely, I could have cried. Well, you're excited about the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> so I bought these like two year ago and I've, I've never even opened them and seen them. Yeah, don't first place. Look at that. <laughs> Hello, sausage. <laughs> it's actually what we say to Patrick. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, sausage. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, like I said, we think it's absolutely amazing. Like, just how it's turned out, the, the quality, just the way it's all pieced together. Again, I don't know how it's going to come across on camera, but to see this in person, I don't, nothing that we can do in terms of taking pictures of it and showing you around it is going to do this kitchen justice. No, I'll try and get a couple of um, like wide angle shots so we can try and get on it. Cause we've been trying to take pictures of it and it, you just don't get the, the sort of gist of it, like the color combination, how it all flows. Because of the light, like it looks quite dark and the camera's well in here. But it's not. It's not at all, no. No, it's we really not. a skylight up here. We have one there, and then we've got the... Seven that? spotlights. Seven spotlights. But even last night, when we turned the three bottom spotlights off that are facing down right now, yeah. there was enough light in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And again, correct. when you see the um, extractor on, yeah. even yeah, that's just enough when you turn the lights off on yeah. a night for what we'd want. Yeah. It, it's lovely. If we, do, if we were just sitting in here eating or doing whatever, it's light enough. Yeah. And again, people have asked if we have windows. We do. We have two. We have that one. And we also oh, have... Of, obviously we still need to do work on the windows, so we need to box this one in. Yeah. And we need to add the paint or stain that one. So let us know what you think, because of all the dark wood, I don't know if it would be nice staining it. 
because we haven't got anything white, so painting it white, it might be a bit too standoff. Could we paint it with the Authentico? We could, yeah. We could paint it with the Authentico. Here, go straight on. That'd look nice. Just blend it in completely. Yeah, yeah. 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 We don't need to do anything else with it. It's No. But let us know what you think. We'll see if you think we should paint it with the Authentico chalk grey. If we should stain it, so it's the same colour as the beams, and make a feature of it, or if we should paint it white. They're the three options that we're going to do. But still a couple more jobs to do in here. So we need to get the tiles on, we need to get the skirting on, we need to uh, fix the lights in properly, now we know where they're going. Yep. And then start getting our little furniture up here. I'm so excited. <laughs> so excited. And we will we'll film our first meal. So we've decided what we're going to do for our first meal, haven't we? Yep, I'll let you explain that now. Yep. So, what's your first meal going to be in this amazing kitchen? So, the first meal I can't wait to prepare <laughs> is going to be Palmo's. Now, it's a Middlesbrough delicacy, so a lot of you won't have heard of Palmo's, you'll be thinking cheese. But Parmesan. Yeah, that's it. We call them Palmo's. If you're from the borough, everyone from Teesside knows where a Palmo is. And if, you're not from, if you've never had a Palmo, you're not from Teesside. I think that's pretty much the same, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Um, but basically, all it is is an escalope of chicken, nice flattened out escalope, breaded, Deep fat fried, covered within about half an inch of bechamel sauce, then smothered in cheese, three, four different types of cheese. You can stick wherever you want on top. I like it with bacon and ham and pepperoni and stuff on as well. And then you throw it in the oven for half an hour and oh, they are just beautiful. <laughs> I can't wait to cook them. And we'll show you them, like I say, we'll, we'll, we'll do it all. We'll film it all for you so you can see us have and enjoy our first meal in here. You know, and it's not gonna be anything extravagant or anything like oysters and Red wine or something. No, like that. we're not going to be doing anything like that. You, you can take the lads out of borough, but you can never take the borough out of the lads. So no, definitely. It's not. one of them in it, really. So, I'm sorry, it's not going to be anything like gourmet or anything. No, like nothing like that. It's no. just palmos. It's going to be palmos. Yeah, but it's something new for you if you've never heard of them. And it's so easy to make, but they are so delicious as well. They so, are amazing. Since yeah. we've been over at France, we've done it for quite a few of our friends. Yeah, anyone that's come from to visit us, I've tried to do it in the weeks that they're here. Yeah. So that they can experience like what we love about Middlesbrough. And yeah. like I so said, that's one of the things that we absolutely love. Yeah. So I think we'll, when we actually open a, the, the, the apartment, we'll put them on the menu. <laughs> <laughs> Alongside oysters and salmon. Well, you can do the oysters and salmon, I'll be doing the palmos. Well, salmon's just cold, so that's fine, I don't <laughs> mind. <laughs> I don't do seafood. <laughs> no. Right, well, I think we'll, now we've showed you around, I think we better go get shopping to Brick Hall and see what tiles we can spot for the backsplash. Yep. Um, I think we're just going to try and go for some simple ones like in the cottage arm. Something similar to what your mum's got, yeah. I think it'd be ideal. We don't want anything too elaborate, too difficult to actually put on and do. So I think if we, yeah, just get something simple. Um, like I said, I think your mum's are about that high, aren't they? So one, two, three. Yeah, yeah I think that'd be about right. I think yeah. that'd look really nice. About three. But yeah, hope you all like the kitchen. Yeah. Hello, sausage. Hello, sausage. Blint into the floor, someone said. <laughs> <laughs> You're already going, Drafty. We're not going to be able to see you now. So, yeah, like I said, I'll try and get most of the kitchen in here for you so you yeah. can see it. Um, but just, just a massive thank you to Exena for helping us with the kitchen. Yeah. To our oh, tent to go for the paint. Luminary with the lights. Lum yeah, it's Luminary just been. With the lights. Yeah, it's just been amazing. So, yeah. what I'll do is I'll put a link to all of the things. Everyone that's helped us to get this, to this point, like say. Yeah, definitely. Right, we'll get sorted now and we'll see if we can spot some tiles. Come on then. Come on then. Come on, kids. So, we've came out to Brickle, haven't we? Yep, we've seen how beautiful the kitchen is. We've just got a couple of finishing touches left. One of them is the credence, uh, the backsplash. Yeah. So, we've got some tiles for that, tiles Terry likes. We knew we wanted exactly which ones we wanted to do, just a case of whether they had them in stock or not. They do. So we're all prepped, we've got everything we need. We just need some little spaces. Yeah. And then the only other thing in there to do really is the skirt board, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A couple of little finishing off bits and all that. But these are the tiles that we've gone for. So we've gone for the ivory coloured ones to blend in, but they're just very simple. We had these in our old house as yeah. well, didn't we? Um behind the Chris cooker. has got them in the cottage. Yeah, Mum's got them in the cottage. They're just very simple but yeah. elegant. So be perfect for what we want. Ideal. Right, you push the trolley down. I think we need to see if there's some of the edging down here. <clears throat> um, you know, to 
like go around. Yeah, around the outside. Yeah, just to finish it off properly. Mm -hmm. But I don't have to go with. Let's see what they have. The cream one. That one. Yeah. Will I go with the tiles? I think so, yeah. I'll get the two cream. Mm. That's okay. That'll do. So, one, you've got two. Oh, that might be more ivory, isn't it? Yeah, that might be a bit better. What about that one, mister? Oh, I think that one's better. That goes better with the kitchen and that as well. Mm. Yeah. Do you think, Ash? Look. Yeah, I think. So it'll be better with the kitchen and the wall, won't it? Yeah. So Three, two of them. Two of them. <coughs> <coughs> two of them. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And now we just need some spaces. Some spaces. Out else, Jonathan? What else we need out of here? Yeah. We done? I don't know we're going to fit this in the car because... I have no idea because after Terry's trip to Amios, we can barely fit in the car, can we? Terry can barely fit in the car. <laughs> and especially after your big belly after Burger King, I'm not too sure. Burger King was good though, wasn't it? Yeah. Right, we'll Come get these then. and we'll get back and get some work done. Do you think you could carry them? Just be careful. Can you manage? Yeah. Right. This is how full the car is. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we had a bit of a detour on the way to go look for tiles, didn't we, Tess? We did. Where did we end up? Our favourite place, a mouse. Don't say our. Your favourite place. Well, we managed to get a dining table for you. Yeah, we did. I'm not, I'm not complaining. It's, I'm just not saying it's my favourite place. My favourite place is Burger King. At least we ended up there as well. <laughs> so we managed to get six chairs. We do only need, let's see, four. four tops, two most of the time, but four for... Well, the thing is as well, even if we have six up there, it's not a shame, we've got space well, in the um, cupboards. Cupboards, yeah. The, the only reason we bought four is because it was a full set, they were five euro each, and Mum's already got, I think, about... Two very similar down there, or well, she's got some very similar down there. Yes, so two like sets, this. hasn't she, for when we have barbecues outside. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, they're, they're lovely for five euros each. With the detail on the, the feet. They're solid so, enough as well. They yeah. look really like skimpy, but they're really not. They're nice no, and solid. Nice, they? yep. And then we've got our dining table, mm -hmm. which is lovely. It's perfect for upstairs on the third floor. It's obviously given that little bit of rusticness. Yeah. Again, it's, it's a lovely table. It's nothing wrong with it. It, it. For what we want, we don't need a, a thousand pound table to go in there. No. So we have a 30 pound MRS table. And our chairs. Yeah, which in total cost us 60 euro for everything. Yeah, which so. is, yeah, absolute bargain. Yeah, and like I said, it's lovely. A bit of stain on this, I think. Just dull it down a bit to go more with like the beams and the wood up there. Yeah, I like, think if lovely. we um, use the the wax, use the... Gilboys. Yeah, use the Gilboys wax. We'll go over with the uh, Liberon one first to get a bit of colour back into it. Mm -hmm. And then go on with the Gill Boys, Boys just to bring a bit of shine to it. And protect it. Yeah. But like I said, the feet and legs on it are lovely. It did once extend. It still does extend, but we just don't have the bits to go in the centre. Yeah, but we don't need it to extend anyway. <laughs> no. So this is big enough for us. Yeah. It's perfect. And like I said, just to go out and we never it wasn't something we anticipated getting. Definitely. Um, not. While we've been out. We got our tiles. We got the tiles we wanted. So I'll try and get them out so you can see. So these are pretty much exactly the same colour as the sink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had them in our rolled out, so they've just got like the little chamfered edge on. Yep. Um, but they'll be perfect for up there because they're just nice and simple. Yeah, it won't, just... it won't detract from the kitchen or anything, but it'll just fin give it that complete finish, won't it, around the worktop. Yeah. Again, we could have got them to do it, but we knew, kind of knew what we wanted with, it. with that, and it saved a fortune in us doing it rather than yeah. paying someone else to do it, so. Yeah. So yeah, so that's our purchases. So we've got them, we've got the bit for the edging for it. Yeah. And then I did have two lamps as well. You did, come with me. And our purchases all over. Yeah. Which will all gel together when we have room sorted. These are two little lamps. 
well, large lamps that I've got. <laughs> yeah, they are quite big. Yeah, um, which they will go nice in one of the rooms, I think. Maybe in like the 400 one, because it's they're quite sort of... Um, they are very masculine, just with the size of them, I think, aren't they? Yeah, and they're quite sort of like Edwardian, sort of style and Victorian, aren't they? Yeah. Again, so. got them unbelievably cheap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 20 euros for the pair. I know, it's crazy. Yeah, you can't go wrong with something like that. No, so like I said, we've got them, we've got our other bits. So we brought everything down from the third floor, uh, the middle floor now, all those sofas and that. So we're cracking on with the work in there. Yeah, so it won't be long and we'll be, yeah, getting everything sorted up there. Getting in, yeah. Happy days. Almost started with one of the rooms with the electrics. Yeah. Next thing is window. Yep. And Which then is, that won't be long either. It'll no. be another five, six weeks and we'll have windows for there. Yeah. So again, we'll hopefully be signing all that off. Brilliant. Well, hope you've enjoyed our tour of our kitchen yep. and our little trip out to Emmaus. Hope you're excited as I am. <laughs> soon, I promise soon we'll do a cooking video up there. We will, yeah. We just want to get the last bits in and finished. You and won't then... let me cooking it yet. We need, uh, <laughs> we need to finish it off because otherwise the little job won't get, get I finished. Know, I know. Yeah, I agree. So, right. if you've enjoyed today's video, if you hit the like button, we'd really appreciate it. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, click the subscribe button. Click the bell so you receive all notifications so you don't miss out on any videos coming up. And we will see you on Wednesday. See you later, guys. If you'd like to be part of our journey and help restore the chateau, then please join us on Patreon. Where you'll be part of our journey receive a piece of the history and get exclusive videos.